edition of the Always Irish Show. As always, you can find the program on YouTube. Do hit subscribe if you haven't yet. I'd appreciate that. Give the video a thumbs up if you approve of the content upon its completion. I would appreciate that as well. Twitter, search bar, always Irish, rat, J-K-Z-N-D-4. Emails, always Irish, and at gmail.com. Audio only anywhere you want me. You can get me always Irish radio, 312-900-8815. Here's the deal. If you wish to pontificate about Notre Dame football, you give always Irish a call. Okay. So let's get into this. I'm having an existential crisis. John, who are you? John, what happened to you? You're a changed man. It makes no sense, but it makes absolute perfect sense. That's what we're going to get into today. So a couple notes. Number one, the call-in shows push back a little bit due to life obligations. I'm sorry I have obligations, unfortunately, that I have to tend to outside of this program. And a couple more notes. Number one. I know a lot of people on Twitter don't like the account Big Game Boomer. They do all the lists of best this, most that, top rank this and that. A lot of people disagree with a lot of those rankings. Here's one I do like. When that account that has a large following said that Always Irish was the number one Notre Dame Twitter account you must follow, I like that list. So welcome to everybody that's joined that never knew of me before this show, saw that tweet. I've gained a lot of subscribers on Twitter and YouTube from that. Boom. And I appreciate it very much. Welcome to anybody new. It means the world to me that you have chosen to join us. Also, personal thanks to Brian Kelly as well. My latest parody video of him dancing uh, to a techno beat is just about at 25,000 views for the day on Twitter. So thank you, Brian Kelly, for the content. Usually, I got to come up with content. Not in this case. The guy just keeps giving me material, and I know what to do with it. All you got to do is give me a little bit, and I'll find the angle. So good to see those things going. So here's where we're going to go. Here's where we're going to go. The big news is that C.J. Williams, the four-star modern-day wide receiver, has decommitted from Notre Dame, likely to end up at USC with Lincoln Riley. Now, with the shaky numbers, we already have a wide receiver. This news has upset many Irish fans. I, too, am disappointed, but not as much as I would be in years past. That is why I'm asking, what is wrong with me? Usually something like this would send me down the tubes, hair on fire, the world is ending, John's going to do a show, rant and rave, how we can't get and or keep some of these receivers. All right? So why is it that I'm not totally wigging out? Very simply put, I believe in Marcus Freeman's ability to get the talent we need way more than I believe in any Brian Kelly-led recruiting effort. That's why. That's why. So you have to give him a non-tainted Brian Kelly recruiting slate to see how he's going to do. So yeah, this is not ideal, but we're going to be just fine. Okay? The other reason I'm not freaking out about this is it shouldn't be a shock. Anybody paying attention, even before Lincoln Riley took the USC job and all the changes happened with Brian Kelly, Marcus Freeman, and Notre Dame, even before all that, this was rumored and something everybody was preparing to accept in their minds. So a couple reasons I'm not freaked out. This is a temporary problem, and once you give Marcus a cycle or two, you ain't going to have this issue, I promise you. You're not going to have this issue. So this is a temporary hardship. That's number one. 
Number two is, it's not a shock. This isn't like a guy everybody thought was a Notre Dame guarantee lock. Now we're all shocked. No, I have wrapped my mind around for a while now to accept that this may be coming. All right? So, listen, we've all learned the hard way. If you've been around Notre Dame, specifically Notre Dame recruiting long enough, I have learned the hard way that with these receivers, you can't force a Notre Dame fit. It's never going to work. It's just not going to work. A kid that's on the borderline with grades, kind of a diva, wishy washes with his wishy-washy with the commitments, all of that. It's just not worth it. So I would rather know now than to allocate resources, a scholarship. I count on this guy. He's not really bought in. Turns into a big mass tranny portal, whatever. So I would rather just know now. We've been down this road enough times with some of these diva type receivers or whatever. You can't force a Notre Dame fit. It's a Notre Dame fit, full buy-in, or it isn't going to work. It isn't going to work. It's one of the things with Notre Dame recruiting. You got to be fully bought in or it's going to be an uphill road for everybody involved. Now, old John would have just totally lost his mind. Not new John. New John believes in this staff's ability to recruit all positions. You will see. We will be fine. This is a temporary frustration. Now, I've seen some people tweet at me even today in my direct messages. John, you, everybody says Freeman's such a great recruiter. Why can't he keep this guy in-house? He's already losing a guy to USC. That's not good. That's not fair to Marcus Freeman. So stop it. That's not fair. He's been in charge of recruiting for two weeks, and you're putting this on him? Not, oh, no, I'm not letting you do that. This guy's been in charge two weeks, and I have people saying, oh, Marcus Freeman couldn't pull this off. No, that's garbage. Give him more than two weeks to get his recruiting operation up and running. You're not going to have this problem very long. I guarantee it. I don't get it. Some of these people went along with Kelly half-assing it in recruiting for a, over a decade. Now you're riding Marcus Freeman for two weeks? You're wrong for that. You're wrong for that. Okay? So I'm shutting that down. You're an idiot if you said that to me. He's been in charge two weeks. Let, let's, let's revisit this in two years. You ain't going to be having these problems. So here's the way I see it. The way I see it is we have had the best two weeks in Notre Dame football in my life the last two weeks. I, there has never been a point of my cognizance in which I genuinely felt the arrow and trajectory and upper end potential of Notre Dame football was this high. Never. Never. These two weeks are it. So the way I see it is, we've had just about as good of a two-week run as you could have. I am not going to lose my mind over this one kid. I, I, I refuse to do it. The net wins we've had that are way bigger picture than any one player or recruit I don't have it in me to be mad about this. Am I frustrated? Yeah. Is it annoying? Yeah. Do I fully understand why we have trouble with some of these really good receivers sticking at Notre Dame? Yeah. But you know what? Let Marcus have a couple cycles to try and recruit them his way with his personality, and we will revisit this. I assure you, talent ain't going to be an issue at Notre Dame much longer. Marcus will not allow it to be. And I believe in that. I believe in him. So, I am having an existential situation where it's odd to me that I am telling people to relax, calm down, the sky's not falling, we'll be okay. That's exactly what I'm telling you, and I mean it 100%. 
Unlike Kelly, I look at this guy and go, you lose this one, Freeman will find another good one. He just will. I believe that. I believe that because of the way he approaches and works at recruiting in a way Brian Kelly in his wildest dreams couldn't dream of doing. So relax. We've had a great couple weeks. So if this is the biggest loss we have in the last couple weeks, you're in a great, great spot. Unlike when Brian Kelly says it, I actually trust the Freeman process. Give him a couple years, couple cycles. Let's revisit this position. I guarantee you, you're not going to be complaining then. One more thing I want to finish with. Okay. One more thing I want to finish with is, as you can see on the ticker in front of you, I am putting together with a company that I'm building a part, a long-term partnership with, we are putting together a fantasy game specifically for Notre Dame, Oklahoma State on January 1st. The winner of this fantasy game gets straight up cash. It's free to enter. You download an app from the store, free. You get in the game, you win it, you're going to get cold hard cash and some Notre Dame Always Irish prizes. Stay on the lookout for that. I want everybody to jump in. Let's play each other. Let's trash talk each other. Somebody's going to end up winning a bunch of money and free Notre Dame stuff. And it's free to enter. Okay? So be on the lookout for more news and details about that. And have a good evening. Relax. Things are okay in Notre Dame world. I'm not worried about this kid. Marcus has got it.